The Grand Empress Hotel, towering over a bustling inner harbour, the causeway packed with visitors soaking up a traditional Victoria experience. There's no doubt the harbour and surrounding buildings are at the centre of thousands of photos, but one picturesque building will soon be back to playing a leading role in entertaining visitors and locals who enjoy it just as much. We really wanted to have a signature marquee attraction, something uh, with a worldwide recognition. The 1924 CPR steamship terminal that was home to the Royal London Wax Museum for more than 40 years has been the site of renovation and revitalization since 2010. But it won't be empty for long now that the Greater Victoria Harbour Authority has announced the new anchor tenant. Having this marquee tenant to drive the, uh, the, the first part of the revitalization, we're thrilled. He's 82 years old and one of Canada's most prolific and celebrated painters. And starting next spring, dozens of Robert Bateman's works, including paintings, drawings, sculptures and sketchbooks, will be showcased in a gallery at the historic building. It's so beyond a dream of a lifetime that I... I just uh, am kind of pinching myself. The layout of the building will see the Robert Bateman Gallery on the second level. Well, on the third level, there'll be office and educational space for the Robert Bateman Foundation. Here on ground level, you'll be able to go in and buy tickets to the gallery and check out the gift shop with Robert Bateman Collectibles. Because it has profile here, because it is this, I mean, driving up this building this morning, I was going, it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it's a teenage word. It's, it's really awesome, the, just looking at the building. The Robert Bateman Foundation says the exhibit will feature 20 to 25 originals and 50 to 60 prints. But because the Bateman collection is so large, they'll be able to rotate the pieces regularly. And Bateman says he couldn't be more thrilled as he continues to work on spreading the message of reconnecting to nature. Because of its location and the beautiful building and the way people of Victoria feel about it, this has a chance to be the the grabber that, that grabs, gets a hold of people, and then we can give them the message. It's a partnership the Harbour Authority and Bateman call a perfect fit. And with a front row seat to the Inner Harbour, Tourism Victoria is hoping the Bateman Centre will be the catalyst to strengthening the Inner Harbour experience. I'm always a believer that uh, something that's really good for our residents, you know, for our citizens of Greater Victoria, will always be good for our visitors. Um, so I think the, you know, the, the reconnection with the human beings in nature, that theme is, resonates so well with the city. Uh, the artist is phenomenal, uh, world renowned, uh, so I think it's a blessing. But there are still other pieces of the puzzle that need to come together. What restaurant will occupy the causeway level is expected to be announced this summer. And the Harbour Authority is still committed to keeping the building open to everyone. In the future, looking at the idea of it being a potential connection to a future ferry terminal. So we want to keep it open, we want to keep it public. Improvements to the building will start this August and the Bateman Centre is set to open in the spring. Huge storm, it was a hurricane off the coast of New Jersey. Robert Bateman says he hasn't forgotten about a Bateman Centre at Royal Roads University, but for the immediate future his work will still be housed here. He says he hopes to have a nature centre up and running at the university down the road. In Victoria, I'm Nikki Ewanishan for The Daily.